Kiara Tefano. Um, I'm Emmeline Pat Dahlstrom, and I'm part of a three-person space team called Space Base. So this is part one of three presentations that you'll hear. We're essentially all the space geeks in the house. So, so, <laughs> so uh, let me talk about first how I got to New Zealand and my journey, my waka. So it all started actually in the Philippines. So I was born and I was raised in the Philippines. And essentially, when I was a kid, like, I really, really, really want to be an astronaut. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> awesome, awesome. And if you're from a developing world, well, that's not, that's not there's no pathway for that. Like, you know, I might as well be, be uh, you know, thinking of pipe dreams. And I was also born in a really different time and a different place. This is 1986, at the height of uh, the Marcos, essentially, uh, dictatorship. And I find myself, actually, not this photo, but sitting in front of a tank, um, essentially, for making sure that we restore democracy in the country. And so it's, uh, it's been a journey um, for me. And somehow, by luck, by opportunities, by faith, I managed to get from, from there to sort of where I am today. And I'm not going to talk about like, what I have done in, 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 in my life. But it just suffice to say that I've actually ticked all my bucket lists, <laughs> except for going up in space. That's, that's coming. <laughs> and it's just, for me, it's just I've been blessed so much in my life. And so one of my passions really is that I want to make sure that every kid who can dream big, bold ideas and, and change the world will have that opportunity, just like I did. So it's fortunate that today, with technology, so my background is physics and space science and, and all that, um, today we have disruptive technologies now that have been democratized, demonetized. And it's no longer the big governments and the big aerospace companies that can actually play in this field. It's the, the three guys in a garage, which is happening today all over the world, who's actually playing that field. And it's, it's, it's really wonderful to see that. Um, but however, I also want to make sure that this kind of like Star Trek universe that, we're, that I think we're actually heading towards is not just for those who have the resources to actually make it happen. While, you know, there is a point that it is possible that, that the rest of us, the rest of the world, where I come from, from the developing world, actually just stays in the Mad Max universe. And this is like this, in 20, I think it's 2014 when Elysium, the, the, the movie came out, and I was like, I was really stressed out by this. And I want to make sure that this doesn't happen. So we created Space Base really in response to this. We don't want to make that future uh, be uh, you know, created by chance. We want to make sure that we democratize space for everyone, where nobody is left behind. And we're trying to do this by essentially focusing on emerging countries and the, de and, uh, the uh, developing countries to actually create their own space ecosystem and play in this uh, space uh, economy. So we are focusing on two challenges. One is that today there is really no integrated ecosystem, even in the US or, or, or any country, that can actually put all of those stakeholders together and work cooperatively instead of competitively. The other thing is that um, Entrepreneurs today also, most uh, especially in the emerging world, don't have the training or the talent or even the opportunity and the resources to actually create those startups and make them uh, uh, successful businesses. So we actually think that there is a holistic way of doing this, where there is a roadmap starting from capacity building where you actually educate people and create the talent and then incentivize those entrepreneurs to actually create startup companies and then give them the tools and the funding to actually be successful. We think that New Zealand is really the prime place to pioneer this effort. And that's not just, you know, we're saying this because we love New Zealand, it's such a, a, a paradise and we want to be here, but because all of the elements that we can see for sustainable uh, space uh, industry actually uh, is here in New Zealand. 
for a very progressive government to its um, location, which is uh, essentially there's nothing on the, 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 the east and there's nothing in the south, um, to existence of educational and technological communities that are already in place here. Um, and then, of course, infrastructure and, of course, the, the, the launch capacity of or potential for rocket labs. So, I mean, I, I end here by really saying that I truly believe that there is a Star Trek universe that we're heading towards. But we want to make sure that everybody is, is going to be part of that. And I hope that New Zealand actually takes that bold step so that in like 100 years from now, we look back at 2017 or, or so, and we thank the people who actually started to make this happen that it's actually going to be Aitaroa. Kia ora. Yeah.